Alright guys, so today I'm going to be looking at the one-handed mechanical gaming LED keyboard from Sadie's. Um, so without further ado, let's do this small unboxing. This is the box that it comes with, very nice and elegant. <laughs> Open it up and you'll pretty much get the keyboard and some uh, useless paperwork. <laughs> the cable right there, it's not braided, but it does feel sturdy and it's pretty thick. So I don't think you're going to have an issue with that. And let's look at the actual keyboard now. So as you can see, it has a built-in wrist wrench, which is really good. Um, let me give you an all-around aspect of this. As you can see, the keys um, are... There's like a very noticeable gap between the actual board and the keys, which is not too bad, actually, since you have the wrist wedge to levitate your uh, hand. And it feels comfortable, the wrist wedge. It's like very ergonomic. It feels very good. Now let's go ahead and plug this into the PC for a simple plug and play. Now the rest, the wrist rest, <laughs> um, is hollow from the out uh, from the other side, but that's no problem. It's just literally the the design. The keyboard itself feels solid. It has some weight to it. It feels good. As you can see, the switches that the keyboard has are blue switches, so you get the nice, crisp, and loud uh, clicking and clacking noise that people love to hear. Now this keyboard does have LED as you can see, but it's not really RGB. It does have backlight modes, so every individual key, you cannot uh, change it. It's only per row. As you can see, the first row is red, second one is orange, blue, and so on and so forth. There are, I believe, five modes that this thing has. So as you can see, it's pretty much the flow of the, the color scheme. Not too bad considering the price, it is blue switches, it's mechanical, and shoot, it's a gaming keyboard. <laughs> also, it does have 35 keys. Now, I'm going to compare it to my Red Dragon 5 K556 uh, mechanical keyboard. Now, this keyboard does have brown switches, so pretty much you're going to hear the difference between blue and brown. Now some gameplay. Alright guys, so I'm going to play a little bit so you guys can see how this is for gaming. I have two cameras set up. Um, one is a weird position, the other one is not in a weird position. Um, I'm trying my best here. <laughs> um, but I am using my uh, computer mic, so if you hear the keyboard, it's because it's really loud. I'm going to try to get some kills for y'all. Not talking much because I'm actually concentrating. Sorry, teammate. I know you had him, but. Oh my gosh, I thought this guy was joking me. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, that's one for the books. I don't know if you could tell, but you could hear the clickety clackety on this uh, microphone. So that's that should all you that should also give you a perspective of how loud this can get. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, this is a great, great budget or alternative if you can't afford an actual gaming mechanical keyboard. But it also gives you lots of space for your mouse, which is amazing. 
and also be aware of how many buttons it has so one problem that i had was i need to use the number seven uh for one of these games but it only goes up to six which is not too bad because i was able to reformat it but still catch you guys next time peace